All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our multi-day shakings again. Uh, back to the page stack. This is my dashboard. Okay, you can see software. Um, oh, I'm the I'm the founder of software, the video with the software don't call it I also Google software and here on multi-day shaking. You see much more about me. So now said, uh, what I want to do this morning is a review, a general review to this uh, page stack. Because I found out that uh, there's limited video on YouTube. A lot of people are finding some little, little things um, easy. And this is a, a company where that makes a lot of things easy. So but before I started talking about all this, all this, it's, it's my be a very long video. Just um, take it like that, okay? And try as much as possible to make things short, short. Before I move on and check all this from the top to the bottom here, uh, this is what we need to do first. I want to explain something. This is uh, a user that can't on this set in here. You don't need to go to setting. Uh, this place documentation is very, very important. Documentation is very, very important. The reason why I said is that uh, any application that I want to integrate this into, you will get first time information from that uh, documentation. For example, now let's say I want to integrate this on a uh, Open cut. So even without looking at the content here, I can just type open open cut. Okay. This is an example, right? Because the open cut plugin, right? Integrate with open cut support. And I need to mention it again. They are very good when it comes to support. Just send it a mail. Okay, so far. They are they are doing well with that. Okay. They are doing well so far. Okay. So uh, on open cards, you can see you see a table complete and see most of these things here. In fact, all, all of these are open source technology. Okay, so look at the open cards here now, right? So what you need to do as open cards, this is whatever. So you download the plugin. If you have used to some of these uh, other online payments, which I'm not going to mention right now, okay, if you are used to some of those things. Uh, you are used to you download and from what to download to integrate. You can even target integrate before you upload this one. But for this, this is the way this works, and I'm going to explain to you practically and the way it works with OpenCAD. So if you are using version 1.5, this is the right one for you. If you are using anything from version 2.0 to 2.2, this is for you. If you are using anything from version 2.3 and above, so just make sure that um, you select the right um the right version for you so for example look at this website now diet and health okay i'm not going to do everything okay but i'm just trying to tell you that the documentation is very important that's what i follow and you can't do it that if they are the one that do it they know how they do their stuff i don't just want to carry the other experience i have from other platform okay that's what i use for this website and that's what people have been paying with okay so I'm going to even use this website as an example, right? And um, before that, I'm going to pause this video for a minute, okay, or so. I'm going to pause it, not up to me, I'm going to pause it so I can enter the back end for this website for security reason. Thank you. Okay, so look at this right now. Um, I'm sharing my screen back to you. Okay, just do that. I'm sharing my this is the C panel control panel of that website I just opened. Um, diet, okay. 
titanearth.com uh, .ng. Okay. So, and you remember, I just opened a, this, right? So basically, this is what I'm using on, for that website, this 2.0 to be precise. So I'll click this. So once we click this, the first thing you need to do, so this is telling you that this two folder, whatever the inside this two folder, you should upload what is inside because you have this structure inside your open cut too. Let me go back here now. So if you're familiar with cPanel, you go to sim, uh, file manager. Basically, I'm not here to explain cPanel for you. So, all right. Okay, I'm very sure I have to pause my share screen at that time. Okay, I'm very sure you're seeing it right now. So here now, um, you have the cPanel, okay? This is the open cut file, the web file. So can you see, admin here and say catalog here. So that is the structure. You need to know that structure first. So now, whatever that is inside this admin here, I should make sure that I upload those files inside this admin too. It's the same way was on catalog here. I should make sure that I put it on this catalog. I don't just upload catalog and put it here. So I need to know what is inside. So this is what I'm talking about. Should you case you didn't get it very well. So now, if you come to this place, now let's say I want to work with the admin. Uh, you click or catalog, for example, now, any one of the two, you click. Once you click, you will see the files that are inside. I'm not going to do all this because I've already integrated, but I'm going to let you see uh, what exactly I did. And the same process is what you can play. Can you see inside uh, catalog, you have controller, you have language, you have model, you have view. So the same way, let me go to my cPanel, inside catalog, right? That same structure, very, very important. Once you know the structure, you don't have any problem. Inside that same structure, um, I have this, okay, what's wrong with my internet? I have the same structure too. So what I need to do is now, said for inside controller, now I should go to controller file and go to payment. So I'll just put this payment now, you can see the uh, directory. So here now it said I should upload this paste tag.php inside a folder called payment and the name of that file should be paste tag.php. So I will just click this and I will see the code that has to be there. So I'm back to my cPanel. Can you see controller? I'm sorry, to the controller. Then I will look for a file called payments. Can you see payments? It's the same directory that I'm following. Payment. And here now, so what I will do immediately, I get to the payment directory. So I don't need to go offline and create one notepad, text meet, or sublime and save it with your page. No, you can just click new file, name it as pastetag.php, okay? You need to name it as pastetag.php, locate it, just like what I have here now, because I've integrated this one. I'll right click it and I'll say edit, just like the way you open it. So I've created that, right? So on the page tag here now, on the page tag here now, look at this code. Say this code is have about 116 lines. So what you just need to do is copy all this code like this. Be careful though, okay? Copy it, after you copy it, uh, come to that place, can you see? That same code that you have there, that's what I have there. So I paste it and I save it, okay? I save it. So the same process or what I did for this one, for this one, so once I'm, I'm done with this, that's the meaning. So I'll go back to controller again, okay? The same way I'll come back to my cPanel, I can just um, do what? Remove. This is the same way it work for WHMCS. The same way it work for Magento and some other open source technology. So I'll come to catalog here too, just like the same way I go back here now, right? Can you see, sorry, catalog. Okay, it's just like the same way that I go back here, right? As this one is loaded down. So I'll just check the next available um, file to upload. Basically, I'm done with this one. I'm going to this one again. I'll click this one again. That is language, English, then payments, then paste. So it simply means inside the payments, they are all payments. Inside the payment, I'll go and create another file again called paste.php and upload these three lines of, uh, sorry, these five lines of code there. So this is what it means. Simply means, go back here, say language, 
uh, English payments. This payment folder is already there. So what I just do new file paste out PHP name it. That's what I already have here. Can you see? And I will copy and paste that five lines of code. If you check this, you definitely you're gonna see the five lines of code. And you want to leave for five line number, right? That is exactly then I will save it. I'm done. So this is the same process you repeat for everything. So when you are done with the catalog, you do this, uh, this is when you are done with the catalog, you also go to um admin, okay. Open the admin, open the admin of your website, follow the same process. When you are done, the last thing you need to do is um you now go back, you now open your open cart backend, right? That's after you've uploaded all this now. You open your open cart backend. I'm going to pause this here now and open my open back uh, cart backend. Okay, so right. Mm. Okay. Right, right. I've opened my open back account now. Right, so this is the back end of my open card. So, what I need to do when you just to get to your back end, you just come to your module. This is 2.0, that's why I know the fashion to 2.0.1. The version to download, you can see I've used one Nigeria before, but I don't use it again. Can see I just disable this, I disable this, I don't need them again. Right, I'll save this, I don't need them again. And this is the guy that I'm using right now. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be telling you the difference between all of them. You will see for yourself. Okay. So look at ENL. Um, I'm going to the um what do you go straight to the payment and take me to this place? Okay. Payment take me to this place. Then I will not be scrolling. You will see paper because uh pay stack. I mean, sorry, not paper, pay stack. You see pay stack. Once you see pay stack, it will be disabled, not enabled. So it will also be like this install. It's not going to be like this. So you just first of all click this. It will install it. After I install it, then you go to this edit here. Okay, it's going to be green. So you need to install it to turn to red. You go to that uh, edit. After I go to that edit, you come straight to this tattoo. It's going to be disabled by default. Enable it. This debugging mode is also going to be disabled by default. Enable it. Then this uh, top secret, public secret. All these things are not going to be showing there, okay? I'm not going to be showing there, so you need to put it there. So, how do you get it from your pay stack? You go to your pay stack here, okay? After I go to your pay stack, there you go to the setting, right? You can see app developer API. So, in developer API, these are security features. So I'm not going to waste time here. So, you can see these are the things that I need text. Um, Text secret, public security. So just copy whatever you have here. Um, use it to replace uh, what we have here. And you're done. You're done. Then, then from experience, you might have uh, one uh, little one little uh, problem. So after at your last payment, the last uh, payment on the open card, the last leg, it's going to it, it might tell you that. One file is missing. Yes, I, I I experienced that. But just one thing is just read the, and that is on admin, not even on catalog. Just read the uh, the code. Okay, that is on under view. Okay, read the error. Okay, you find out that the same file is here. As I said, under view template. Um, here. Okay, on what you have online, you have view. Let me tell you what it is. So this is the same thing that I put in the pista.tpl. But what you have on your open cart is not like that. Okay. So you will have done everything and that one thing is missing. So what you have on your open cart on the admin at that point, there's a default before template. But uh, from what we have here, there's not a like default extension. 
and you already put it as default inside that default. So you just put it inside the template again and forget about the default. So and you see that's just blue. So let me show you. Um, add me view. This is what I'm talking about. Templates. Okay, it's in templates. Uh, payments. Then you put that stuff there. Okay. So anyway, it is. If it's anything that is missing, and for example, you can also uh, give me a call because at the for, on the top of the video, you can see my number and all that stuff there. You can also get me a message which I can help you. But I've done this and uh, it worked fast. I'm, I'm just trying to tell you um, there's a particular place. Sorry, that has um, pardon me, that has uh, default inside. Is it modular? Oh. I think it's on model. I think it's on model. No, not on model. Okay, there's a particular point here that has default, but just follow the steps, follow the direction as I said. Okay, so and you are done with that and you put all these things. So that is how it's very simple to integrate OpenCAD. I'm here to even explain all this. Um, thing the video will be too long but i don't want to do that now so in the next video i'm going to just go straight to this i'm not going to explain any open source or any other thing again thank you very much